Hey everyone, this is Heart Capricorn. Today I want to discuss how to spice things up with your Capricorn. Okay, to start off with, it's all in your conversation. You can always spice things up and keep your Capricorn interested just by having stimulating, meaningful conversation. These are non-sexual, intimate ways to get to somebody's heart or to just keep them interested in you. If you are able to hold a conversation, a decent conversation, and give a Capricorn something that is thought-provoking or a conversation that will make a Capricorn linger on your every word, even when you are not there, you are already ahead of the game. Capricorns are not interested in small talk. Um, we're not interested really all the time sitting in silence. Capricorns want to have conversations with our partner. We want to be able to talk about anything with our partner, even if to the average person, it may seem strange. Capricorns want to be able to bring that strangeness to our conversations with our partner. When you are in an intimate setting with your partner, it should be a safe space for you to talk about anything. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Capricorns are natural thinkers, so we are always having the tendency to replay conversations or interactions in our mind over and over and over. So if you are looking to spice things up with a Capricorn, give us something to think about even when you are gone. Have us thinking about the last thing that you said. Have us anticipating being around you based off of the last conversation that we had. It's extremely important if you are trying to spice things up with a Capricorn because we just can't be around people who cannot have a decent conversation or somebody who is just an empty shell. That is never going to interest a Capricorn in any type of way. So if you are trying to spice things up, just know that it always starts with your conversation. Separation is key. Now, if you're wanting to spice up your relationship with the Capricorn, please master the art of separation. Be able to hold your own attention and be able to do things by yourself. Now, I'm not saying that you have to ghost each other in order to spice things up. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that it's okay to be apart from your partner for an extended amount of time. It's important for you to be able to separate and come back together with your Capricorn. It is okay to give each other space and time apart. To me, that just builds up the anticipation for you two to come back together at the end of the day. Capricorns are okay with having our own space and finding things to do with ourselves. We have no issue with that. So if you are a clingy type or you're the type of person who always needs to be in a Capricorn's face, then honestly, the relationship probably won't work. But you also should learn the art of separation. Learn how to do things by yourself. Learn how to keep that interest going even when you are not in the presence of a Capricorn. When you have spent um, an amount of time away from your partner, when you come back together, the magic naturally happens. The intimacy is already established. You already have your established relationship. So when you come back together, that is when you're able to have that magic and the spice and the sparks fly within your relationship. And this is extremely important. You have to have your own life. You have to be able to balance your relationship as well as doing things outside of your relationship in order for it to flourish. You cannot smother the person that you are in a relationship with and think that it's going to work in the long run. Just master the art of separation. So if you have been postponing a trip because you think you're going to miss your spouse too much or you don't want to let them out of your sight, just go on your trip. Have fun and enjoy the people that you are around. Keep that intimacy within your relationship, though. Don't let that fall by the wayside. I'm not saying that, you, like I said, you have to ghost your partner. No, still talk to them, communicate with them, but also live your own life and do your own things because at the end of the day, trust me, they're going to do their own thing and they're, they're going to have their own life as well. So just go out there, live life. Do what you want to do with any reason because remember you are in a relationship, but just go have fun. And honestly, 
this works on the buildup. This helps the buildup for when you come back together and when you are in each other's company again. It just helps build up the anticipation like I've been saying. And so separation does wonders for a relationship, especially if you are losing that spice and you want to spice things up. Learn the art of separation. And the last thing that I want to touch on in this video is definitely spending more time together. Now, 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 now. I know you're probably like, why is she contradicting herself? She just said separation is key. And it is. But spending time together is also the key. You cannot just always be separated from your partner. I mean, as Capricorns, we honestly like our alone time. We like, you know, doing things on our own. But at the same time, realistically, you have to spend time with your partner in order to flourish and in order to spice things up. I mean, how are you going to spice things up if you're not in their presence? I mean, come on. You have to spend time together. It's okay to have your own life, but at the same time, you have to be able to come back and spend that intimate time with your partner. So it's important for you to have that uninterrupted time that you are spending with them. Give them attention. Give your partner the attention that they need. Give your relationship the attention that it needs. In these moments when you are together, when you're, you know, just spending that intimate time, those moments should be uninterrupted, no distractions. Please don't let distractions consume you when you are trying to give your partner undivided attention. Don't do that. Don't pick up your phone and start texting or answer a phone call when you're supposed to be having your alone time and an intimate time with your partner. It's important to just give your partner all of your attention and your support during these times. You don't need outside influences in these moments coming into your relationship. And it's also important that when you are in a committed relationship and you and your partner have established that bond and that connection, it is important for you guys to never stop having fun with each other. Never stop being yourselves around each other. Like take that time to let loose and just enjoy the company of each other. Enjoy what each other has to offer. That is extremely important when it comes to any type of relationship and if you are trying to spice up your relationship. And as always, I know that there are so many more ways that you can spice up your relationship with a Capricorn or in general. And I really want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and you'll be sure to hear from me soon. All right, bye bye. Now we grown up, my look, yeah, made the realest one